What's up everybody? Welcome back to the OG family. Make sure y'all smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel only if you want to, but look my beautiful people. We got this. 15 famous people who seriously let themselves go. Now look, we all know people that we done came up with. And if y'all like the same age as me, you know, already we're still young, but it's still people, bro. We gotta be real. They say black don't crack. Well shit. They shattered, man. You know what I'm saying? Because this is like I know a lot of people, man. They look like they're in their 50s and stuff right now, and I'm not even that old, bro. Like not at all. You know what I'm saying? This, come on, man. We need to change this culture because people are aging at a rapid pace right now. That's why you got to take care of yourself, drink your water, exercise, practice. You know what I'm saying? Talk to somebody for your mental health, all that thing, all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? But look, man. Let's get into this video. These people are not. The exception because the same thing happens to these rich famous folks as well so let's get into this video right there with this in, with this in your mind you know if you let yourself go it's not too late to come back snap back you feel me but look if you're gonna snap back put it in the comments down below if you are already doing good say hey hey G I'm straight you know what I'm saying but look let's get into this video let's get this video right here to like 5,000 likes let's get it number 15 Brendan Frazier shock horror Someone in their 50s doesn't look the same as they did when they were in their 20s. Fortunately, even though Brendan Fraser isn't the chiseled hunk we remember him as in his role on George of the Jungle in 1997, most people are defending him, and now he's almost unrecognizable. The man has had an extremely rough time of it, and we don't blame oh, him for hell. putting on a few pounds and looking his age. Remember, a lot of... I don't think he looked bad that bad. That had to be Photoshop, man. It had to be Photoshop. He ain't out here looking like that. Time has passed since that hell hit no. film. Brendan married Afton Smith in 1998, and the pair had three sons. In 2007, they filed for divorce, but it wasn't exactly smooth sailing. In 2013, he went back to court to ask for a reduction in alimony. He said he was unable to afford $900,000 a year for spousal support. From this... That's why, I, look, I'm telling y'all, look, man. Men and women get a prenup. Have an agreement already. Don't trust nobody with your money, bro. His ex-wife accused him of hiding assets. Crazy. If that wasn't bad nasty, enough, bro. he was assaulted by the Hollywood Foreign Press Association president, Philip Burke. From divorce to assault, he spiraled into depression. He then had to receive multiple surgeries for injuries sustained during his stunts performed early in his career. He having a mental issue. He's paying nine hundred thousand dollars, almost a million dollars, to somebody a year, bro. That didn't put in on his money. Like, his dramatic change in appearance made him the butt of many jokes, which obviously didn't help matters. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click right. the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14, Russell Crowe. You might think that actors have it easy. I know they get to pretend here. to be someone else all day, then be paid handsomely for the privilege. But if you think about it, there's a lot more to it. To get into character, you've often got to undertake massive physical and mental changes. Russell right. Crowe is proof of that. We're so used to seeing him as a buff, sexy gladiator that it can be quite a shock to see him portraying an older man with a dad bod. <laughs> I think I was very passionate with Ron describing why it was important. He had to pile on the pounds for the movie called Unhinged, in which Russell Crowe plays a psychotic man out for revenge. And sure, he could have put on a bodysuit, but it's far more realistic <laughs> if he put the weight on himself. He is almost unrecognizable, but it goes to show the crazy talent he has to transform himself into an entirely different person. In That's saying cute. that, it pays to focus more on his role than his weight, and Russell is tired of the focus being entirely yeah. on how many pounds he's put on. Hey, look, it happens, bro, and he's doing that for a role, you feel me? Not like a raw role, role. He's doing it for an for acting role, you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Look, I done ballooned up in weight, bro. I got, like, when I was younger, bro, I got to like 220 and I wasn't ready for 220. 220 ain't look right on me. I was fat, bro, and I had to snap back. He got says back right. it's like part of months. his job and that he'll get back to his desired weight eventually. But he also said he'd like to tell people to mind their own business and that he's in no rush. Yeah. Number 13, yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio. There's almost nothing Leonardo DiCaprio can't do. 
He's a talented actor who can go from playing a heartthrob on a sinking boat to a racist in a western film. His versatility means that he has to change how he looks quite a lot. You never know what you're gonna get when you see him on the big screen. Lay your palms flat on that tabletop! If you lift those palms off that turtle shell tabletop! So when he was spotted on a beach break in Miami in 2014, many people were shocked. He looked a lot different and softer around the edges than many people were used to. He also had a lot of extra facial hair, including a beard, that we're not used to seeing. Right, he may the even go so far as to say he looked a little disheveled, but give the man a break. He deserves time to relax and be himself without being judged for it. That's what I don't get, bro. Like, the, 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 the crazy expectations, though. Like, bro, you should just be allowed to live your life and people not comment on... You know, you getting fat or you got more facial hair, bro. Like, you need to find something to do with your life. What's more, he appeared to be having a good time with friends soaking up the rays on an idyllic beach. You can almost guarantee that he was fighting fit by the time his next movie appearance rolled around. Number 12, Jaden Smith. Oh, shit. <laughs> Being in the spotlight when you're an adult can be hard enough, but it can be even more so when you're young, impressionable, and feel the weight of the world on your shoulders. Yeah. Fortunately, Jaden Smith has a caring family who noticed something was wrong with their son. Jada and Will Smith, Jaden's parents, spoke about what they noticed with Jaden in Jada's Facebook Watch series called Red Table Talk. She said they held an intervention of sorts for Jaden, who didn't appear to be himself. He had lost a lot of weight, had bags under his eyes, and had a grayish tone to his skin. They said he had gone vegan and they didn't think he was getting all the nutrients and protein he needed to stay healthy. Jada said he was wasting away, looked drained, and was depleted. They were nervous. Jaden corrected his parents and said he was vegetarian, not vegan. He had tried to be vegan but preferred the vegetarian lifestyle. He said he was eating only one or two meals per day. Now though, he's looking more like himself. Number hey, 11. Hey, man, that vegan stuff, bro, look, man, that shit different. If you do that, I'm not telling you what to do. If you do that, definitely make sure you're getting your proteins and everything, your water intake, all these things. Just because you eat that stuff, like just greens don't mean, and vegetables and fruits don't mean that you're healthy. You can be very unhealthy and do that at the same time. Evan. Macaulay Culkin. Oh man. Not too many people won't know the name Macaulay Culkin. I know he, he was like a now. child star known for his roles in Home Alone, My Girl, and Richie Rich, just to name a few. Classic. But being a child star robbed Macaulay of an opportunity to have an everyday life. As he took a break from Hollywood, his drastic transformation became immediately apparent. He went from a child with a youthful glow to yeah. an almost 40-year-old looking frail and gaunt and being arrested for possession of a controlled substance without a prescription. I didn't even realize it until recently, and there it is, the little thing. The Y'all remember, bro, watching Richie Rich, Home Alone, and stuff like My Girl, bro? Y'all all cry when y'all seen that movie My Girl. Come on now, you cap! Cat, if you saying you didn't, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy to see that he grew up like this. But hey, man, teach his own. Downward spiral came after his parents divorced and his mother filed for full custody of him and his six brothers and sisters. According to sources, he has been estranged from his dad ever since. At 15, he also removed his parents' names from his trust fund to stop anyone wanting to stick their pinky in the pie. When he was a child, they were said to have pocketed 15% of his paychecks. Oh, wow. He also got into recreational drug use, but said he was never pounding six grand of heroin a month, as some sources suggested. Fortunately, Macaulay is looking much healthier these days than he did back in 2012, okay, around that's the good. time he was not living his best life. That's what's up. Number 10. That's good, man. Lindsay. Hey, congratulations for him getting off some drugs and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. Low man. Lindsay Lohan is well known for her oh. roles in Herbie, Freaky Friday, The Parent Trap, and Mean Girls. She quickly shot to fame, and from the age of 10, was destined for a life in the spotlight. But that can take its toll, as Lindsay found out later on. It all started going a little haywire for Lindsay in 2007. 
She was convicted of drunk driving not once, but twice. Not to mention being convicted once for cocaine use and then spending 84 minutes in jail. 84 from minutes? From that point okay. onwards, she couldn't <laughs> catch a break from the press, who were always out to see if she would stuff up again. I don't know, I think everybody, you know, has their own path in life, and... We all go through ups and downs in life. She checked into a rehab facility, which many people thought was for alcohol and drug abuse. In reality, it was to help her deal with the nightmares she was experiencing after shooting the 2007 film, I Know Who Killed Me. Since then, though, she has had to fend off inaccurate reports about what she's been up to. She said she's not a cocaine addict, only having tried it a handful of times. She also said she's not a junkie, even though she has had a problem with drugs in past years. Hmm. Number nine. Hey man, don't ain't y'all kind of seeing like a trend, especially with these young actors, bro? Like, I think a lot of it has to do with them getting on drugs is because if you don't do certain things, take certain roles, you're going to get blackballed and you can't get roles that you actually want. And then also it's another aspect, you living that fast life. This money is coming in and you don't know what to do. You're just spending your money, you're trying these new drugs, you're experimental, you're younger, you're growing. And it handicaps these people, man. They live life too fast and they get bored. They start doing drugs and shit. Matthew Perry. Matthew Perry shot to fame on the hit series Friends in the 1990s. I remember but that, yeah. with fame comes a little bit of pressure, and some people turn to drugs to manage that pressure. Matthew was one Ooh. such person. He managed to yeah, hide his problem from his co-stars like Courtney Cox and Jennifer Aniston, but then it became apparent he had a problem. In 1997, he entered rehab for a Vicodin addiction and lost a significant amount of weight. By 2001, he had gone back to rehab for alcohol alcohol, Vicodin, methadone, and amphetamines treatment. He's wow. thankful, though, that he never got into heroin. Otherwise, he believes he wouldn't be here today. These days, though, Matthew is free. Hey, bro, that shit crazy, though. That's a hell of a transformation right there. I've seen it before, but that chin is cringy. That chin is cringy, bro of many of his habits. In yeah, saying that, he in. was spotted at an LA airport looking a little bit rounder in the face than many people remember. He also looked like he was quite tired after a long flight. His at 43 was years old then, the Daily Mail reported that he had won his fight with booze and drugs, but was fighting with the scale. Harsh, oh. Daily Mail. Harsh. Number I mean, eight. hey man, man gotta eat, bro. If that's the way he wanna live it too, we can say whatever we want, but... I mean, as long as he's happy, he not on them drugs, you know what I'm saying? Shit. Diego Maradona. Diego Maradona was one of the greatest football players ever to hit the world stage. But with that fame came the constant pressure of being at his best. Eventually, he became worn down by his fame and couldn't go anywhere without being hounded by the media. He ended oh, wow. up being addicted to cocaine, other drugs, alcohol, and sex. From that point on, <laughs> things went from bad to worse oh, I ain't left for Diego. Drugs. He was charged with cocaine possession, oh, then the cocaine was found in his blood, and he was given a 15-month ban from his favorite sport. <laughs> then, That's after how you look now? Italy for Argentina, he was arrested for cocaine possession. Essentially, he had gone from arriving in Italy bright-eyed and bushy-tailed to leaving a broken and him. damaged That's man. In 1994, he returned for Argentina's 1994 World Cup, but failed a drug test for a performance-enhancing drug. After his football career was over, he ended up being appointed as the coach for a struggling team. Diego, who was easily one of the greatest players of all time and was one of two winners of the FIFA Players of the 20th Century, Century Award died on November 25th, oh. 2020 of a heart attack. He had just days previously received treatment for a subdural hematoma. Oh. Number seven. I'm telling you, bro, you getting up there in age, bro. Make sure you're taking care of your health, bro. For real. That's very, that's, bro. Take care of yourself out here. If you want to live, if you just want to... If you don't care, then fuck it. You know, you had the wrong video. Robert Downey Jr. 
it's hard to believe that Robert Downey Jr. could be someone who seriously let themselves go. After all, you've seen his astounding performances in blockbuster films like The Avengers. But believe it or not, Robert has battled with drug and alcohol abuse, so much so that it actually landed him in prison. Oh, he wow. was almost unhirable. He initially made a name for himself in the 1980s, where he starred in films like The Pickup Artist and Less Than Zero. Oddly enough, he played a rich kid who ended up going off the rails with heroin addiction, and his life ended up quite similar. In 1996, he was arrested for cocaine and heroin possession. He was in and out of jail multiple times for drug offenses after that. In one quite severe incident, Robert even woke up in a neighbor's house after passing out in a bed. He then missed wow. several court-ordered drug tests and was sentenced to three years in jail in 1999. He wow. ended up serving 12 months in a substance abuse treatment facility and state prison. After his wife gave him an ultimatum, he quit drugs in 2003. He credits his sobriety to the 12-step program, meditation, therapy, and yoga. That's dope as hell. See, that's a good successful story right there, bro. I never knew that, okay, Tony Starks was goddamn out here on drugs, bro, at one point. That's a great successful story right there. I like to see the positive side of it, you know? Some people choose to always go on the negative stuff, bro, but that's very positive right there. Real talk. Number six, Axel Rose. For many years, Axel Rose was the face you would see pinned up around the bedrooms of young Guns N' Roses fans. In recent years, though, he looks far different than what he used to at the peak of his performing years. In 2011, the then 49-year-old performed at the Rock in Rio Music Festival looking far more full than he once did. If you compare his body even to that of his appearance at the 2006 MTV Video Music Awards, yeah. he definitely looks a lot different than he used to. And saying that, he might have put on a few pounds, but he still has a whole lot of talent. He managed to bang out some of their classic tracks like Live and Let Die, Welcome to the Jungle, yeah, huh? and Sweet Child of Mine. But he didn't do a lot of running around as you would be used to seeing. But that wasn't because of his extra weight. He was worried that moving around too much would prove to be quite treacherous because of the pouring rain. He said he would prefer to focus on his singing rather than falling on his bottom. Number 5. Vin Diesel Oh, Looking really? a little bit softer around the edges than we're used to was Vin Diesel back in 2015 as he relaxed on the balcony of his hotel in Miami. We're so accustomed to seeing him with ripped abs that we forget that without regular training, it yeah. can all change. Instead of a six-pack and muscly arms, he was wearing boxers <laughs> with a slightly rounder stomach than we're used to seeing. Yeah. Bear in mind, though, that he wasn't... Hey, y'all y'all gotta understand how fast... That can happen when you become an adult. Like when you come and hit your 30s, how fast you can be from super in shape to like straight up bloop. It happens to me all the time, bro. It happens to me all the time. Sometimes I just go without working out for a while and it's just like start to get soft. And But you'll snap back in shape, though. You just got to know your body and know your routine doing any filming at the time. Instead, he was on the hunt for a director for the eighth movie in the Fast and Furious franchise. We wouldn't have thought this, but now we do have Oscar. At that time, he was also planning on doing three more Fast and Furious movies, then calling it a day. At that time, Vin Diesel had also posted on Facebook about how accommodating and trusting Universal had been of his vision. He had promised to deliver a final trilogy, but it was taking some time to find the perfect director director given how picky he said he was being so you can forgive vin for not looking movie ready after all there was still Deserves so much time until he needed to be right number four right. kelly break, clarkson the media and tabloids have been incredibly harsh about kelly clarkson over the last decade or so in fact it seems that every time she gains weight then loses it they attack her like a pack of vultures it's true that kelly has put on weight 
Then yeah. she loses it and puts it back on again. But how is that anyone else's concern? She had an eating disorder as a teen that saw her become super skinny, okay. hoping that it would allow her to get better parts in musicals. She was later diagnosed with an autoimmune disorder and thyroid issue that resulted in body changes affecting her weight. However, in recent years, she has embarked on a new diet from The Plant Paradox, which has made her feel better about herself and her body. In I mean, I think Kelly Car I mean, I, I think she look good either way, though. You know what I'm saying? She one of those joints that could be, she could be super thick delicious or she can be kind of skinny. And she got that thing back there. I just got to say that, but yeah. Saying that, she Don't doesn't let other people's opinions about her body get her down. She, should. she said it's her body, not theirs. And when someone tweeted, you're fat, she responded with, and still awesome. Kelly doesn't get That's caught up in the fact that she doesn't have a fast metabolism and isn't always at her ideal weight. Number three. John at the end of the day, bro, you shouldn't give a damn. Like, honestly, look, look, I'm gonna say this on camera. Fuck these people, bro. Like, not fuck them, but I'm just saying, like, fuck them. Like, middle finger. Like, bro, they don't mean nothing to you. For real. Don't, nobody's opinion matters. Even mine on this video. Who gives a damn? Johnny Depp. You don't have to be very observant to realize that Johnny Depp is looking a lot different than he used to. But no one's actually sure why that is. I love you, too. Are you just over there? It's quick. Um... Well, no fans know for sure, at least. He probably has his own ideas. But there are plenty of rumors out there about why he appears so gaunt and frail these days. I forget Some that people think that as drug as abuse as might be involved. These rumors came about after former bodyguards sued him for an intolerable two-year stint in his service. Mm. They say that some of their jobs involved alerting him to illegal substances on his face to stop people from noticing his condition. Oh, wow. Others believe his financial woes are taking their toll. He reached a crisis point with his spending in 2012 when his bills reached around $2 million. He had a staff of 40 to pay, $350,000 a month in maintenance costs of his yacht and child support for his children Jack and Lily Rose not to mention some crazy spending but then there are the reports of excessive drinking and the saga with his ex-wife Amber Heard the man is under a lot of pressure in his private life and this surely takes its toll number two that's crazy too man he probably getting hell on social media bro just because he going through some bullshit in his life a rough time and people probably going at his neck. They probably in his comments and stuff. Bro, I never, I don't get that. Why do people spend their time on shit that they, quote unquote, don't care about? On, you know, you know, on Instagram. Oh, you're fat. Oh, what happened to you? You fell off. Like, why is it your business to tell somebody that? Unhappy motherfuckers. Nicole Egger. The media can be awful. We mean awful. Take Nicole Eggert, for example. Sure, she's put on a few extra pounds in recent years, but if you've dealt with what she's had to deal with, you wouldn't blame her. And you know, real women gain weight. They do. Nicole used to play the role of lifeguard Summer Quinn in Baywatch. She had a toned, tanned physique and was surely pinned up on many walls around the world. But a lot can happen over the years, and Nicole does look a lot different than when she played that role from 1992 to 1994. Roll the clock forward, and now she's over 40 years old. She has publicly battled with her weight and took part in the 2010 weight loss show Celebrity Fit Club after gaining around 30 pounds when her dad died. She mm. lost over a stone and released a DVD called Nicole Eggert's 21 Day Red Hot Bikini Body Makeover. After giving birth to her second child, she put on a bit of weight but has worked hard to slim down. She goes on hikes with her baby strapped to her body in a carrier. She also has personal training sessions. Number one. That's what's up. Yasmin Bleeth. Who the hell is this? You may not know the name Yasmin Bleeth right away. Even seeing a picture of her today, she may not ring any bells. But back in the 1990s, Yasmin was co star to David Hasselhoff and Pamela Anderson remember. on Baywatch. Hi. Hi. Does Stephanie know you're here? No. Now in her 50s, she looks a lot different than she once did. Perhaps it's due to the fact that she now has a life mostly out of the limelight, which probably suits her a lot better. Early on in life, okay. she had struggled with cocaine addiction and was arrested for cocaine possession, even after entering rehab. 
she lost a lot of weight and was 110 pounds and a size zero. Her weight gain and general differences in her appearance in recent years has put her back into the spotlight, which isn't exactly fair. After Baywatch ended, she appeared in other TV series like Nash Bridges and Titans before staying away from the showbiz industry. Today, she lives a much simpler life. Even if the tabloids keep trying to thrust her back into the limelight to show off her differences from back then to today. Celebrities are people just like us. They put on... Yeah, they do. Look, and this is what I get from that. You know, uh... Bro, people deserve to, to grow. They deserve to gain weight, whatever they want to do after, you know what I'm saying, live your life long as you're healthy. Long as, it depends on what you want to do with your life. Some people don't give a damn about living and if that's it, like, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying. Like, we can do the best we do to try to motivate you, but man, do what the hell you want, you want to do with your damn life. Uh, but yeah, I don't think it's our position to be telling people, oh, you're fat, oh, you're out of shape. Like, bro, mind your business, go about your day. I wish the world was like that, but look, can't change everything. But like I always say, spread love because there's too much hate in this world. Love you guys. See you on the next video, and I'm out, though. Blah.